today is our first show back. Uh, we, we were in Australia, so this is our first day back since we've been in Australia. <laughs> It was exciting. I was in Australia for a week. I was in uh, Sydney for two days, Melbourne for two days, and then four days on a plane. <laughs> it's very far away. It was an amazing trip, and I just want to say to all the people of Australia, uh, Australia? <laughs> There's a bit of jet lag. Uh, seriously, everyone in Australia, uh, uh, if you find my cell phone charger in my hotel room, send it to me. I left it there. Um, I learned a few things while I was there. I learned that you can't just walk up to people and ask to look at their pouches. That's one thing I learned. <laughs> and when I was in Sydney, I learned that there's no street called 42 Wallaby Way like in Finding Nemo. <laughs> I went looking for it. What's next? Sea turtles don't talk? What am I going <laughs> to? Breaks my heart. Wherever I go, people are always asking me about Finding Nemo and are they going to make a Finding Nemo 2? And I didn't realize that I guess I've mentioned it on the show uh, once or twice. <laughs> and now it's time for our new segment, How Come Every Animated Movie is Doing a Sequel Except Finding Nemo? Can you believe it's been 11 years since the Toy Story movie? 11 years. What's more incredible, it's been seven years since the last Finding Nemo movie. <laughs> Like, this is some kind of practical joke. It's not funny. They made a movie on this, uh, and then it was so successful, then they made a sequel, um, which is what happens when uh, movies are very, very successful, except in the case of Finding Nemo. Boy, but that's frustrating. Yeah. I thought I'll watch the Super Bowl, and it's fun, but it's just something I'll do once, and I'll never do again. Uh, like, what's the word for it? Oh, yeah, Finding Nemo. And um, every single day, I say, just keep swimming, just keep swimming. I'm going to put a picture on my vision board. I hope it works better than my Finding Nemo sequel um, board. <laughs> I don't get it. I understand that making Finding Nemo 2 would be hard because it's not easy to make a good sequel and it's almost impossible to get the entire cast together with the same writers and directors and producers. Anyway, that brings us to Shrek 4. <laughs> Finding Nemo, 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 Finding Nemo. I mentioned it a few times. I've mentioned it a couple times. But I am a positive, patient person, and I know that when you have a successful movie, usually they make a sequel. So I waited and I waited, and finally I got the call from the director, Andrew Stanton, who I love very much, very talented man. And uh, he said, uh, yes, indeed, we are going to make Toy Story 3. And <laughs> I said, hooray for Tom Hanks, finally something good for him. And um, <laughs> so then I waited some more, and knowing that one day Andrew Stanton, who I love very much, would call me again. And not too long ago, he called and he said, Ellen, the rumors are true. We're we're going to go ahead and make Cars 2. <laughs> I wasn't mad. I was furious. And, but I really believe that one day it would happen. And today, I am proud to officially announce that Pixar is making a sequel to Finding Nemo. <laughs> the good news. They say I'm one of top, uh, the five top contenders to play the part of Dory. So, <laughs> no, I will be Dory again, which is the most fun in the world to play Dory. And actually, the entire sequel is about Dory. The name of the movie is called Finding Dory. And that is the name of the movie. That's it. So kids, let that be a lesson to you. Anything is possible if you're patient and you beg hard enough on national television. <laughs> I'm excited that it's finally happening. And I read the script. It's fantastic. It's hilarious. It's warm. It's, it's everything that you want it to be. Uh, but the thing about those movies, they're brilliant, and they take a long time to make. So it won't be in theaters until 2015. But in Australia, I think that's tomorrow. So <laughs> it's not that far away. So uh, put up the countdown clock, please. I think we have it. Here we go. One. Million three hundred ninety-five thousand three hundred and sixty-two minutes to go. So we will count down. And to help pass the time, you're all going to go home with a copy of Finding Nemo on Blu-ray. <laughs>